What's up, you guys? Avery here, and ladies and gentlemen, we have more Dark World support coming out of the structure deck and a Palkia Jiren to boot. And we've got three cards to show off today, so make sure that you smash the ever loving crap out of that subscribe button and the like button. We're so close to 800 subscribers, and then even closer to 1,000. I can almost taste it. Oh, and it, it tastes so delicious. So you're getting two videos and one day from me, so please show that love and support. I really do appreciate it. So let's kind of go back a little bit, right? Because I got some hate from the Dark World community saying, Avery, what the hell are you talking about? The original cards that they showed off when the structure deck first got revealed are pretty solid. They're not trash. What are you talking about? And I'll admit, it was a bad take. I was wrong. And these cards, I think, really seal the deal for me. That I, Dark Worlds, I don't think they're going to be tier one. But damn it, man, this brings them up to 2022 standards. So ignore the ads on the right-hand side. YG Organization's a bucket of shit. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive on into it here. Fix your fucking ads, YG Organization. I'm going to say that every goddamn time so you quit looking like a fucking website from 1995. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the first one we have here is Genta, Gate Man of Dark World. So it's a Dark Fiend, level 4, 1,000 attack, 1,800 defense. You can only special summon... Uh, Gatekeeper Dark Worlds once per turn. You can discard it to the grave to add one of the gates of the Dark World from your deck to your hand. That is obviously the field spell, so they gave the deck and a dusted gold. A card, a monster that you can ditch to search the field spell. That's really fucking good. And if it becomes banished and you control a Dark World card, you can special summon this card. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fucking allure target. Because now you can just draw your two, you can banish the Gateman of Dark World, and if you got a Dark World card, which you should if you have the field spell on the board, then you can just special summon it and just start making your plays. That seems really good to me. Next up, we have Pearl Hermit of Dark World. It's a Dark Fiend effect, level 1, 300 attack, and 100 defense. You can only use uh, the effect of this card's name once per turn. If it's discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target a Dark World monster in your graveyard except itself, special summon it to either field. Then if this card was discarded by an opponent's card effect, which probably won't ever come up unless you somehow end up in a mirror match, you can special summon one of your Fiend monsters that is banished in your hand or in your grave to either field. Keep in mind, it does not say Dark World Monster for that effect, so you can bring out any Fiend Monster. Like, that seems really, really good. And even if you don't get that secondary effect, right, if you just get the effect of Special Summon a Dark World from your grave to either field, keep in mind some of the Dark Worlds, like, uh, where is it here, like Sorelli, want monsters on the opponent's side of the field. So to have that built in is a nice touch in case it does come up. Next up, we have the card that this fucking sells me on the whole thing, ladies and gentlemen. We have Dark World Library, which the art is just really cool because, like, you've got the Dark World, like, book there. You've got, like, who is that? Snow and, like, the fucking library. Like, that's that's cool. Homie getting ready to check out a book on how to tap that ass in 2022. <laughs> Anyway, so it's a continuous spell card, which is fucking bonkers. You can only use the first and second effect of this card thing each once per turn. So during your main phase, you ditch a Dark World monster, and if you do all Dark World monsters you currently control, gain attack equal to the discarded monster's level time, times 100 until the end of this turn. So if you have the field spell up, they're all gaining 300 already. Plus, if you ditch something like, say, a Grapha, then they're all going to gain 800, plus Grapha's going to get to pop something. Holy shit, that's so good. And if your monsters are monsters whose original type is Fiend is discarded by the effect of a Dark World card or an opponent's card, even during the damage step, you can ditch a card, then draw two. So just using this continuous spell, you get to ditch a card and draw two. So think about this for a second, right? Since you can use each effect once per turn. Let's say that you've got, I don't know, Skittles, a fucking rainbow, or gold, whoever on the board, right? You've got Grapha and, like, let's say, Brow in your hand. And you go Effective Dark World Library, ditch Grapha. Uh, Skittles is going to gain 800. Oh, Grapha's going to pop something. Oh, I just ditched from my Dark World Library. I'm going to use that to ditch Brow and draw two. Oh, hey, Brow's going to get me more draws. Like, holy shit, that's good. Like, that's really good. And keep in mind, it's just an original type is Fiend. So all you got to do is ditch any Fiend. So you could combine this with things that aren't even Dark World. I don't know why the fuck you would, but it's an option. <laughs> so th this card is just like drawing for days. 
And keep in mind, again, because it's a continuous spell and it just says effect of a Dark World card, if you ditch off the field spell, you're going to get even more draws. Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, these cards, these cards are broken AF. You combine it with the shit that got revealed before, and this stuff is broken AF. So, I don't know, man. I got. I may have to go back to playing like I was in 2011, 2012, playing Dark Worlds, and hitting you with the deck devies and everything else. I'm excited. I really hope that we, we get this structure deck in the TCG. People are still kind of iffy if we're going to get it or not. But guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. And all the Dark World experts that were on my last Dark World video, please let me know in the comments how this stuff can kind of shake up the deck. Because I'm just kind of going based on face value, especially with this draw card of Dark World Library. Holy shit, this Dark World Library is busted. Like, bro, it's... Oh my god. This, this, this card's like, what, a plus four? Plus three? Like, on its own? Like, oh my lord, Th this this is busted. Dark Worlds have needed this for a long ass time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for your support, and I will see you in the next video.